the next person is Oronya. Oronya was born on the 1st of May, 1999. His schooling started at Don Bosco Park Circus, Kolkata, where he studied till class 10 boards and finished his 11th and 12th at Akshar School, Kolkata. He has done his graduation from Rabindra Bharti University in Western Classical Music. He is right now doing Master of Arts in Western Classical Music at Rabindra Bharti University, Kolkata. He is also a student of Calcutta School of Music, pursuing piano. He got a Dancing Finger Trophy for getting first place in London College of Music Examination, Grade 2 in Keyboard. He also has a YouTube channel called Air and Ya, where he uploads his different music videos. Over to you, Aranya. Okay, my story. I'm just uh, telling my story, uh, small of my life, small story of my life. I am Aranya, in Bengali as Aranya. I was born on 1st May 1999. I know I'm a bit different from others. I have problems in mixing with other people. I have problems in communicating with other people. But I love all people and I like to say hello to all types of people. I was admitted to a mainstream school in 2003. People over there failed to understand me as I am. The students and teachers used to insult and taught me, taunt me for my weird behavior. I was a little bit, a bit clumsy too. I remember that when I was a student of class three, uh, our teacher said that I, I have a neurological problem because I used to flap my hands and used to make weird noises. I made the, it made me tremendously scared and anxious. I also remember that in class five, my class teacher turned me as a birdie for flapping my hands. I remember that I never did all those purposely. purposely. In their school, all the other students used to play their games, talk on their favorite subjects, and I used to stay in my own world, watching the lights around. I also used to, used to do self-talking about my favorite topics like music, trains, and vehicles. In many cases, I was different from the other normal people, so those people would bully me. I, remember, I still remember that in class 10, my class teacher humiliated me just because my shirt was wrinkled and I used to sweat a lot. He used to humiliate me for being backward in class rather than the other students. Many years passed with this type of negativity. I used to feel very anxious and stay in the pool car and in class. I would feel very isolated in, in, in any social gathering as I could not take part in the way others enjoy. But I always wanted their friendship. In 2008, I went to Nimhans, Bangalore. Over there, I got a diagnosis of Tourette's syndrome. Later in 2013, it became half project. I don't know what is the diagnosis is, what the diagnosis is, but I only know that I'm a different kind of being. In 2015, uh, 15, after passing my class 10 boards, I was admitted to an inclusive school. Over there, the students were requested to treat, to treat other people with respect and politeness. The people over there were more supportive, but still I had a sense of loneliness there too. After joining their school, a new thing started to bother me. And that was the matter of friendship with people of the opposite sex. That is the matter of partnership and romance. The ladies in our class failed to understand me. I remember that after a few days of our board exams, I posted a photo of all of my female friends in our students' group. And that led to a serious altercation between us. Actually, she never understood my motive behind posting that photo and I never understood why she got so angry. In 2017, after passing out by class 12, I was admitted to one of the universities in Kolkata for my higher degrees, higher studies. I'm finally following my passion of music. The matter of loneliness is still there in me in my university life. There are people who still humiliate me for, 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 my, for my different type of behavior. And they say that I fail to understand jokes and I get angry. I actually think that the kind of jokes that people, people make are about making fun of others. This started since my school days and has been continuing. I want to convey that the jokes which ridicule people are not like, who are not like others should be out of this world and because they make a person angry and sad. Till now, I have been talking about the disadvantages of my life, but you know that all people have both advantages and disadvantages. Now, let me tell you something about my advantages. 
I'm a person who has an awesome love for music. My little brothers and sisters who are in the spectrum have symptoms like lack of eye contact and lack of speech. But all of them mostly have a tremendous liking for music. Music is like my sixth sense after all the five bodily senses. It is like an extra part of my body. I try to communicate with the environment with my music when I sing or play an instrument. I have a feeling of connection with the environment. I become happy. I have a liking towards music, musical styles of different countries, especially at national anthems. Yes, there has been a lot of negative things in my school life with me, but there are positive things too. And that is my exposure, exposure to Western music, especially music of the church and similar spiritual songs. But I still remember the songs that I learned in my school days. I find music in nature, like the sunrise, the sunset, the birds chirping, the wind, and even the call of animals. I also find music in the sound of everyday household items, items like a glass, a container, and the movement of utensils. I like the sound of different musical instruments from all over the world, and I also have a keen interest in maps. I remember that I had, a, I had gone to a small village near our city, where I heard the azan, the call of prayer for Muslims. I was mesmerized when I heard it. I still become mesmerized when I hear songs from the mountainous regions of the Himalayas, like Bhutan and Nepal, and these inspired me to make my own compositions. Being inspired from the music from different countries like China and Arabia, I have composed many pieces on my own too. Recently, I have gone to two places, on one is seashore and the other a river bank. I was mesmerized to see the sunset at the seashore and the full moon at the river bank. These two sides made me think that how I am connected to the cosmos, the stars, and the constellations. I am the only one of the, one of the minute dots that are there in the never ending cosmos. I have been making a small musical piece that goes with what I am feeling now about the cosmos. I would wish to present it here. I have named it as Journey to the Cosmos. I have decorated the video with some of my paintings I have made. And at last, the message I would, I would like to con give is that always respect other people and never judge a book by its cover. You never know what someone is going through. Always treat each other with love, compassion, and benevolence. If, if everyone does this, the world would be a better place. Thank you. Now I'm going to play the video that, that I made.
I hope you liked it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Aranya. Thank you so much. Um, okay, how many of you were trying to touch the screen and touch like when the music was going on <laughs> and wanting to feel those trees? <laughs> Thank you so much, Arunya. <laughs>